Hey, what's up everyone? Or what's up very few people that are actually watching this video, but today I'm going to be taking you through how to kill Gluff in under 230 for the Elite Combat Achievement. This one's pretty straightforward, so you really shouldn't have too much trouble with it, but I'm going to give you an overview of my gear and inventory that I use to get it done, take you through how to get there real quick, and then run through the example boss fight. I knocked this out in a minute 38 using uh, the Bofa and a good melee setup, so there's plenty of wiggle room here and you really shouldn't have too much trouble. Alright, so you're going to want to start off with whatever your best range setup is. If you have a twisted bow, even better. I'm using Crystal and the Bow of Fair Dinian, these nuts. And then we've got Necklace of English. You know, sub this out if you have lower stuff. You should be fine. Again, there's a lot of room to work with here. And then have a melee switch for the last phase on Gluff. He's a, a three-stage fight, so the first and second will just range him and have Vengeance up, and then in the third we'll melee him. So have that switch. I'm using a Chally for spec because it, it hits pretty hard. If you have Claws, anything like that, that works. A couple Divine Potions so that if I need to do another attempt, I don't have to bank or anything. If you die in the dream, it doesn't really matter. You just pop right back out and uh, you can just pot up again and go back in. Some Anglers to heal over, Sharks, and then in my rune pouch I have Vengeance runes. Vengeance is pretty important to reflect as much damage back at Gluff as you can to get it done quick. So that's pretty much all you need to know there. Um, you're going to be fighting him in the Tree Gnome Stronghold and get kill this gnome woman. She's level 1. What's she going to do? Um, get her out of my video shot here. But you're going to fight in the Gnome Stronghold. So Gluff is right above the Gnome Ball field upstairs in a hut. I'll take you through that. Alright, so you can get to the Gnome Stronghold however you feel like it. I used the Royal Seed Pod, which we should all have because you need to do Monkey Madness 2 to even get to this fight. And Gluff is just north of the Gnome Ball field, so we'll run over there. I know I mentioned earlier that if you die, you can just repot up and go back at it. Uh, if you're a hardcore Iron Man, I don't know if this is safe or not. So don't be running in there carelessly just because I said that. Like, if you have an account like that, you should be doing your own research. Like, don't, don't just be running in. And I cannot be blamed for that. So figure out if it's a safe death or not. But for everyone else... You die, you'll just pop right back out, and if you have enough supplies left, you can charge in again. Go ahead and cast your Vengeance before you go in, sip on your potions, and heal back over max health. He can hit pretty hard, so you want to enter the fight at max HP. There's going to be a few cutscenes during the fight that you can't really skip, you just have to wait for, but... As you're fighting him, you'll want to move towards the next stage so that you don't lose time there. So we'll kick it off, turn on our offensive range prayer, and hit him. He can hit real hard with melee here, so I'm going to run up close to him and take advantage of my Vengeance to get some good damage on him right off the bat. Yeah, he got me for a 61, so that's pretty good. And then I'll run out of range so he doesn't absolutely kill me. And now we're in the next stage, so I was running across as I was shooting him to make sure that I was set up at this next boulder. And then he uses range here. I'm going to try and take one more hit so that I can do some more damage on the Vengeance. And then I'll throw up my prayer so that I don't die. You can hit through it, but it's not super hard if you're praying. So don't worry too much. I am going to go ahead and eat so I don't die mid-fight. And run north as I do it because for stage 3, he's going to head north. Once he's about half hit points, he's going to transform into the last phase. And here we go. Make sure you're keeping your Vengeance up throughout the whole fight as often as you can cast it. And I want to make sure he doesn't kill me because he can deal a lot of damage. So I'm eating some anglers as I make my switches here. Change to Piety and dump in your high damage specs on him. So I've got three Crystal Halberd specs as one. Keep spam cloaking him too because this, this like drag attack that he does, it can cause you to lose some offense. So you have to keep clicking him. Okay, there we go. I had some good specs. One more vengeance, and there we go. He's dead. So this fight took me, I think, a minute 38. So again, there's a lot of time to work with here. You could probably even do this with some sort of crossbow and some strong bolts. Just make sure you're keeping your vengeance up and you're moving along as you fight him. The achievement is for under two and a half minutes, so there's really plenty to work with. 
Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, uh, you know, go ahead and interact with it in the appropriate ways. Any feedback you have, let me know. And if you're interested in seeing some more guides like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you have uh, any specific combat achievements that you're hung up on and are interested in a guide for, I'm happy to take feedback and work on those. Um, you know, I, I'm not like insane at this game, so don't don't be asking for like grandmaster stuff. But within like elite master, definitely hard. I can do those or any other sort of guide you're looking for. And uh, you know, if you're feeling a little down after fighting Gluff, he's pretty hard. Just just come here and massacre all these gnomes. They can't do shit. So that'll boost your spirits. Alright, till next time.